America and Oregon are better than this. New numbers released from the Department of Homeland Security are revealing just how many kids are being separated from their families as the administration cracks down on illegal immigration. Over a six week period in the United States, 2000 children were separated from their immigrant parents. And today, members of Oregon's congressional delegation visited some of those parents where they're being held inside an ICE detention facility. Coin six is Jennifer Dowling filed this report before heading out to breaking news. Make no mistake, children are being ripped out of their parents' arms because of the Trump Sessions policy. On Father's Day weekend, Oregon's Democratic congressional delegation visited with a number of immigrant fathers at this ICE detention facility who've been separated from their children. Sending them God knows where. It's abhorrent. The Democrats talked with some of the detainees for about an hour inside. Senator Jeff Merkley says 123 men are being held here in prison cells. One of them had a child had been separated from a child who was only a year and a half old. Now, tomorrow is Father's Day. Democrats blame the zero tolerance policy adopted by Jeff Sessions and the Trump administration. They say it's left the refugees here with little access to legal help and major hurdles to contact lawyers or their wives and children. They didn't know where to call. Uh, they, um, uh, in some cases, couldn't make calls because they, the prison charges money. At one point, we were told that people had been given information about lawyers but it was in their clothes, and their clothes had been taken away from them. So in effect, there was no way to contact lawyers. We tried to contact Republican Representative Greg Walden about the situation, but he hasn't returned our request for comment. As for President Trump... The Democrats forced that law upon our nation. I hate it. But it was Trump's own Justice Department that implemented a policy change in May, requiring kids to be taken away from parents that are jailed. The actions have sparked an emotional debate. This picture from CBS shows a two-year-old girl from Honduras crying as police search and detain her mom. I kept... <laughs> thinking about my grandkids under six and what would happen to them. Back at the Sheridan facility, a federal public defender wrote a letter detailing problems she discovered after speaking with detainees. She says they're locked up for 22 to 23 hours a day, have inadequate food and lack of medical care. One gentleman showed us what looked like an open wound on his leg and he has not been able to see a doctor. Let's give these people a chance to make their case and in the short term, make sure they're getting access to lawyers and to medical care and to food. Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.